Tech Manix. I'm Jan, this is Cybercoach, and I have made this little squid launcher, which shoots with the silicon squids, like this little kraken. Or you can shoot with other stuff, which you can push in its nozzle. And today I'm gonna tell you all the creating process. So, let's do it. <laughs> so, my launcher works on a pneumatic principle. For those of you who don't know what it is, Google it. But for those of you who know what it is, then you know that it will shoot with the compressed air. That's why I need a storage to store the air in it. I've taken mine from the fire extinguisher, but you can take any storage you want. But you need to remember that it must be solid to keep the air that will try to get out. Second important thing I need is an air pump. I will use car compressor because I'm a lazy guy and I don't want to pump it by hands. I will connect them by tube fittings, which you can find in any hardware store. Here I'll put the nozzle. Nozzle will accelerate my squids and prevent them from falling down on the ground. The last thing I need is a valve with a quick open close ability. It will quickly release the air from the nozzle, so it will take the dumping function for the shot. Yay! Now let's assemble the pneumatic part. To make housing for my construction, I will use a couple of DSNS cut wooden plates. They're made exactly for the connectors that I have, like with this hex. I will assemble five tube connectors of different shape and dimension. Despite the fact that they look clean, they're very dirty. So I have to clean up all threads with a solver for sealing them using special pneumatic tube sealant. Also, I need pressure gouges for visual pressure control of the air in the system. Digital one will be used for the system upgrade. Then I'll add my solenoid valve for the quick air release. I'll connect the compressor to a common assembly through a check valve. Oh, it's quite heavy. The pneumatic part is over and uh, all I need to do is to wait till the sealant will be crystallized. Until I'm waiting, let's try to figure out how does the squid launcher work. Okay, Manix, to show you the principle, I'll remind you of an old school fun. I need two flakes of different diameter and a piece of paper for it. As you can see in the first case that happened, that my paper just fall down on the ground. My length was the same, so the energy of blows was the same for the both times. But smaller flake was too thin, so it just killed most of the energy. So, principle I told you works not only for nozzle, but also it works for the solenoid which will be used as a valve with a quick open-close ability. So what is the solenoid? Solenoid is a common valve which plug moves by a magnetic field and it should have as big hole as it possible or it will waste the most of the blow power. The sealant is done and now I can test it. I will try to turn on the compressor to accumulate some air in the balloon. Uh, this car compressor works from 12 volts electricity car grid, but as you can see, there's no cars here. So uh, that's why I'm trying to power it from this. LiPo battery and car voltage converter. LiPo battery gives us 24 volts, which I will throw down with the car voltage converter. So, Let's try to make two bars pressure in the balloon. Yeah, it looks like uh, the system can store two bars pressure. I will try to empty it with my teeny little friend blow off valve. So what I'm gonna do next, I will repeat the test for four bars and will release the air with the normally closed valve, which supplies for 24 volts, which I will generate from my laboratory power supply. So now I will connect the normally closed valve with the, my power supply and generate 24 volts on it to check if it works. So the device is ready, but I need to remember about safetyness. I hope everything will be good. Have you 
ever seen it? It works! So what do I need to automate the system? First of all, I need the controller as my right hand to rule the launcher. I've taken the Arduino board, particularly analog one. So controller will take the data from the pressure gauge and show it to me on LCD super duper display. By the way, it got the touch screen, so I will use it with two momentary push buttons to control the relay, which will open close my solenoid and turn on turn off the air pump. So that's all. Maybe it looks easy, but it's quite hard to link it all together. Let's try. Whew. These are the details I need to make an electronic control part. Uh, first of all, I need to find a brain. This is a control board. Uh, I'm used an analog of Arduino. It's called Iskra. Maybe some Russian name. I don't know. I will connect buttons, relay models, lights, pods. Uh, super duper LCD display to my control board and I'll connect them through this extension shield to make it easier to connect it all without solder. Now I'll connect my pads to an extension shield. Then I'll install relay models to the pad. I use pads because they got holes for scrolling and I can connect them to my main board. Now I'll install buttons, lights, <laughs> I've added LEDs to my assembly because, you know, everyone loves LEDs. Now I will connect them to my main board. It is time to add an LCD display. To become portable with an Arduino, this display has its own shield. Pressure control visualization will be shown on it and also I will add pressure adjustment function. Great! We have already made a squid! Come on, it's funny. So now we're at my favorite part. Coach programming! I will use Xode Visual Programming Environment. Uh, it's very similar to Arduino IDE, but here special graphic nodes will be used instead of writing this boring code. I'll show you. First of all, I will add nodes for my trigger. In Xode, you just drag and drop nodes from libraries that you need onto the patch. My trigger consists of the relay and the button. So I need the button node and the digital write node for solenoid relay. I set pin numbers according to my scheme and link them. So the trigger is done, let's upload the patch and test it. In my scheme I got a digital pressure gouge. I will get pressure values with this group of nodes. Then I will add some nodes to initialize my LCD display. Values from pressure gouge will be shown on 2 meter widgets in bars and PCI. Also, I will set up a maximum pressure value using the rotor switch widget and touchscreen of my display. Let's upload the patch again and look how does it work. For my green and red LEDs, I will operate with this logic. If the pump is off and the pressure in the balloon is less or equal than the set one, then the green LED lights up and I am ready to pull the trigger. Otherwise, the check lights red one. So, the program is done and finally I can gather all my parts and check the work of already assembled model. So, it's the most fascinating moment because I got working a pneumatic board and programmed the electronic part. And all I have to do is just connect themselves together. But as always, it's easy to say about it, then make it real. That's why I need a handle to put the pneumatic and electronic parts on it. That's SNS cut wooden plates you like. It's screws and nuts time! After I have fastened all screws and nuts, I can place the pneumatic part on the handle and fix it with my teeny little plates. Also, I've made one more cut wooden plate to install most of the electronic part and display on it. So we just left to plate pads and connect them back to my main board. Yep, it's done. Uh, and I know you got a question for me. How am I going to supply my system? First of all, let's look at the details. I got Arduino Mega Board, which maximum is 12 volts. Second thing is car compressor, which needs 12 volts either. Last thing is a normally closed valve, which needs 24 volts. I got Lidipo battery, 
which can give me 24 volts. I will connect it directly to the normally closed solenoid and to the car converter, which I will connect to the air pump and to the Arduino. Car converter takes 24 volts input and gives 12 volts output. That's all. That is how I'm going to supply my system. So now when you know all the secrets, I can put my power supply on a handle. And I'll start for screwing this rocker switch. Now I'll put a voltage converter. <laughs> then I will wrap a grip places with a rope. Also rope will be used as a lipo holder. Now I will connect all power supply wires together by soldering them. Also I will put the wires from car compressor and solenoid to the terminal plates of the relay models. Now visually it's ready uh, and all I have to do is put my nozzle on my launcher. <laughs> And as always, I need a great lot of connectors to do it. So, the moment of truth has come, ladies and gentlemen. My launcher is ready. And what I'm gonna do, oh my god, it's so heavy. I'm gonna <clears throat> arm an ammo in my launcher and make my first shot. But I made a special ammo for my launcher. This is a mold with a silicon squeeze in it. Let's squeeze these guys in the nozzle and make rock and roll. With the first shot, I want to look in what direction it will fly. Now I will pump my car compressor. I'll try to make my best, but who knows what will happen. Shut up! And it's only four bars! I love squids. And now I want to check the destroying power. Because nobody checks the destroying power in squids. I will check it in potatoes. So let's make the potato shot. Hasta la vista, baby. Thank you for watching guys, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe and remember, if you all subscribe, I'll find you and the put squid in here. No, that's the bad ending. Uh, no, B-Tech. Yeah, that's good. Bye-bye.